Roux-en-Y gastric bypass is the operation that we know the most about in our choices of operations. Um, there's lap band, there's sleeve gastrectomy, and Roux-en-Y gastric bypass. Um, we were doing the Roux-en-Y gastric bypass in my training 30 years ago. The problem was 30 years ago, uh, everybody was doing it a little different. There was no standardization to the bypass. Um, and we didn't know to teach patients how to use their tool. So we do the bypass, send them on the way thinking they would do great, but a lot of them didn't. A lot of them gained weight back and a lot of them had problems. And fortunately, that's not the case anymore. <clears throat> the gastric bypass now is very standardized. We have centers of excellence that kind of watch over us and watch our data to make sure we're doing things well. And in a gastric bypass, what we do is we go in laparoscopically with small instruments, a camera and a TV. We find the stomach, we create a small pouch of the upper part of the stomach. It's about the size of a hard boiled egg. It holds about four to six ounces of food. We then reroute the intestine so food comes into that small pouch, goes through the intestine, bypassing the rest of the stomach, the pancreas and the liver and the bile. And then we make a second connection further down that reunites the food and the bile. So food goes one way, digestive juices go another way, and it's not until they get to that second connection and travel together that the food is absorbed. So the operation does two things to help people lose weight. It restricts how much they can eat, about four to six ounces, and it also decreases the amount of that food that they do eat that's absorbed. So the patients will eat somewhere around 800 to 1,000 calories a day, and they'll lose about 75% of their excess body weight. The key though is you have to take care of your tool. So again, we've got to teach you how to use it. So that means measuring your food so you don't eat more than four to six ounces of food because that small stomach will dilate over time. So if you're constantly overeating and stretching it, you lose that restriction and that sense of fullness. You also dilate the connection between the small bowel and the stomach, which again, all of a sudden that sense of fullness is gone and patients can regain their weight back. So the key is to take care of your operation, measure, eat the right foods, and that bypass will take care of you for the rest of your life. Not only will you lose the weight initially, but it'll help maintain that weight loss for the rest of your life.